Nancy with Nancy's Nibbles of Life and welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, welcome! Again, my name is Nancy and I'm on the WW Blue Plan. I get 23 points a day and I love bringing you videos centered around WW content. But sometimes, just to keep things interesting, I'll bring you a travel or a beauty vlog. So, welcome to today's video. I have a good recipe for you today. In fact, I have two recipes for you today, and they are tuna, tuna steaks. Do you guys enjoy tuna? I hardly ever buy tuna fillets or tuna steaks from the meat section or the seafood section of my grocery store, but recently I saw some and it looked so good and I thought, I'm gonna figure out a way to make something really yummy using that tuna. And thankfully, I found a great recipe inspired by Chef Vic. He's a chef here on YouTube. I'll leave his channel somewhere above here. But he has a sesame crusted ahi tuna recipe that I really, really thought looked so yummy. I want to try it. And I love sesame and I love sesame seeds. And this is a dish that sometimes I pick up when I'm out to dinner, like date night with my husband. It looks so fancy and special. I have to give it a try. And the second recipe I have is from the WW Cookbook. I'll share with you which one. And it is a grilled tuna with an herbed mayo. Doesn't that sound good? So, are you ready to learn about these two tuna recipes? <laughs> Say that twice. Okay then, let's go. Okay now, for our tuna two ways, let's talk about our ingredients. For the first preparation, the sesame seed crusted ahi tuna, of course you're gonna need tuna. So I picked up one 12 ounce piece of tuna from the grocery store and I cut it in half because I'm gonna make, of course, two recipes. And these are pretty thick slices of tuna, so I really like that. You know, you're gonna slice into that tuna and having a good thick size is, is probably a really good idea. So for the sesame seed crusted tuna recipe, of course you're gonna need some sesame seeds. And I have here a mixture of white and black. I have one tablespoon of the white sesame seeds and I have one tablespoon of the black sesame seeds and I found these at my local Asian grocery store but of course you could find them probably at the larger chain grocery stores as well and sometimes you could find them black and white already mixed together I had a hard time finding the black sesame seeds but I was finally able to pick them up and again, I am using two tablespoons, one of the white and one of the black, and they're roasted. They smell so good. When I open the black sesame seeds, the smell of the sesame is just, oh, it's so good. It almost smells like peanut butter. Mm. I was surprised at the point factor of sesame seeds. So today we're using, again, two tablespoons worth, and that is I believe three smart points. We'll go over the final count at the end. And we're also going to use two teaspoons of olive oil for another three points. So the recipe totals six for this sesame crusted tuna, but we'll double check at the end of the recipe, make sure we have that right. But of course, we're going to get started on the crusting portion of these tuna steaks. And so what we're going to do is... I've added one teaspoon of the olive oil into my little ramkin here, and I have a brush. I'm gonna brush on a little bit of this olive oil to my steak, and then add these seeds using a plate method. So this is, I'm gonna dump the seeds onto my plate and then plop the tuna on top and hope that those seeds stick using the olive oil. Okay, let me show you how we do that now. Another broken plate, another called off date. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack, 
Words that we can't take back We are the reason opposites attract Once you slam the door on the second floor I regret it all When I think it through I can help the way I feel for you you make me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right Stuck in an endless fight like every night It still feels right Even the words can sting I wanna change a thing Cause without you everything means nothing You make me lose Pretty easy, right? So, we have our crusted tuna ready to go onto my grill pan. I only seasoned one side of my tuna with salt and pepper because sometimes you don't want to overpower your seafood with salt because you don't want to make it too salty. You do want it flavorful, but not too salty. And also, I'm going to use a little bit of soy sauce uh, to dip my tuna in, so I don't want to go crazy on the salt levels. But also, another tip that I found out from Chef Vic is to use gloves when you add your sesame seeds to the tuna because it gets stuck to your hand, and it was getting a little stuck to the glove as well. But at least when you're done, you can just plop those suckers off and put them in the sink. Another tip is not to handle the tuna too much because it's pretty delicate. So you don't want to accidentally tear it or rip it. So you just want to be pretty delicate in how you're handling your tuna when you're using the sesame crusted method. So, all right. Now, if you recall, I said for this recipe, we're going to use two teaspoons of olive oil. We reserved one teaspoon for our grill pan. So let's add that to the grill pan, get it nice and hot. And then we're going to sear it on both sides for three minutes a piece each side rather. Okay, are you ready to the next step? Let's go. Okay, our tuna is out of the skillet and it just took a few minutes. I have a good tip for you. When you are crusting the sides of your tuna, I did the top and the bottom and then I also crusted the back. You should turn the heat off on your skillet because it's hot enough and you don't want to overcook your tuna. You see that it's cooked in the parts where there was direct heat but then that center is nice and rare, which is what you want for this recipe. So there it is, beautifully crusted, the golden, the seeds have gotten golden on top. I don't know how well that you could see that. So let's go ahead and slice into this tuna. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to a bed of greens that I have along with some carrots, daikon, radish, and tomatoes. And I am going to also add a little bit of this sugar-free Feast of the East sesame dressing. It's more of a vinaigrette. This is one of my favorite dressings ever. It's so yummy. If you live in California, 
you can get the Feast of the East even at their restaurants. But if not, you can order it online and I'll leave that in for you, uh, info for you below. But this is a great sesame dressing or vinaigrette to add to your green salad. Okay, let's finish this off and give it a taste. Well guys, here it is, our first preparation of our tuna steaks, and man, does it look delicious. You know, like I was saying to you, this is something that I would order for a restaurant meal, ahi tuna as an appetizer, or even a main course. It's six smart points, it couldn't have been easier. The two tablespoons of sesame seeds are three smart points, and the two teaspoons of olive oil that we used is also three smart points. So for a total of six, and it again is just so gorgeous. This is something that you would use to impress your friends with on a Friday night, or maybe even the backyard, the summer months or the summertime rather is coming to a close and this would be something perfect to serve up to your guest. So let's give it a taste, my favorite part so you saw that I used some of that vinaigrette. Now I'm not gonna count the points for the vinaigrette onto my recipe because you use whatever it is that you want. So let's try this tuna. Look at this, oh, looks so yummy. There's a nice piece there. All right. Mmm, mmm, that's so good. So good. The tuna is nice and tender on you. You appreciate those areas that are cooked because you have a nice toothy bite <laughs> to your tuna. And those sesame seeds on top are nice and nutty. I made the right call by not adding too much salt to my tuna because you just don't need it. But speaking of salt, you saw that I have a little mixture here of wasabi and soy sauce. Let's get... Mmm. And that's good. Another delicious profile for your tuna, that wasabi and soy sauce. And as I was saying, I made the right choice to not add too much salt to that tuna because whatever dressing you use or if you're going to use this soy sauce and sesame seed mixture, perfect. So six smart points for our sesame crusted tuna. Let's move on to our next recipe. Okay, for our next recipe, we are gonna use the Flavor Pop Cookbook. 
This is a WW cookbook. I love this cookbook. I picked it up recently. You might want to check out that video. It's from the sweet and sour shrimp recipe video where I introduced you to this new flavor pop cookbook. I really love it. It's broken down by sections of ingredients to add a little bit of flavor pop to your food. And that reminds me of today's dish because it's so perfect. We're just gonna grill up the other piece of my tuna and we're gonna use a little bit of salt and pepper and cooking spray to grill up that tuna. But the flavor will come from our herb mayo that we're gonna use. So it's a grilled tuna with herb mayo it's three points on the green plan, one point on the purple and the blue pan plan. Look at that. And so it's so simple to a little bit of light mayo, a fourth of a cup, and a little bit of plain yogurt, a fourth of a cup. You're gonna add your favorite dried herbs. So today I'm using a little bit of parsley and a little bit of thyme but I'm gonna zhuzh up my recipe just a little bit and add some of this green onion mix dip, this Laura Shutter's green onion dip, probably a teaspoon or so of that, to my herbed mayo. I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh lime juice, some salt and pepper. We're gonna let that cool in the refrigerator so those flavors can mix and marry for about an hour. Grill our tuna and see what it comes out like. So, you know, again, this is just another one of those great recipes that you could add for these last dog days of summer. Can sit out in the backyard, grill you some tuna. You could make your herb mayo well in advance for your guests. And then, you know, just leave it on the tabletop, present them with these beautifully cooked tuna steaks, and you have something pretty simple for one smart point. You can't beat that. Okay, are you ready to watch me prepare the second tuna recipe? I'm gonna start with that herb mayo and then we're gonna move over to the stove to grill our tuna steak. Okay, let's go. Well, our tuna is off of the grill pan. That didn't take long at all. You know, this recipe actually calls for you to use your coals and cook outside, but I don't have one. So today I cooked on my grill pan. I was about six minutes on each side. And you see, I was able to cook my tuna all the way through. I wanted to do a little something different for my first preparation. So about six minutes on each side. I use a little bit of salt and pepper on one side of my tuna like I did before because I don't want to over salt my tuna. 
I allowed my herb mayo and yogurt mix to sit in the fridge for a little bit so it got nice and thick on us. I used parsley and thyme and I used a little bit of this green onion dip mix. So let's go over the points again for our grilled tuna with herb mayo. It's three smart points on the green plan, one smart point on the blue plan, and one smart point on the purple plan. So let's give it a taste. It looks really, really yummy. You know, this is almost reminds me of something like a tartar sauce in a fried, fried, fried fish. Mmm. Mm. That's good. That herb mayo, you could really dress that up or dress it down. This is something that you could serve on summer nights, the last few summer nights that we have, in your backyard, over your grill. Or you could do it in your grill pan like I did. Make sure that you let that herb mayo sit for a little bit so those flavors can marry. So yummy, and the points just can't be beat. And again, this would be great for guests. So there it is, tuna two ways. What did you think? I love them both. So I'm sure that I will be picking up tuna steaks again when I see them in the meat section over in my grocery stores. I won't pass those by, especially now that I see how easy they are to prepare and how tasty. So something different, you know, we have to kind of keep it fresh in the kitchen to stick to our goals. Well, listen, that's going to do it for me again today, guys. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Please don't forget to give me a like and leave me a comment. It really helps the video get out there and helps my channel grow, which is what I need. So I really appreciate those thumbs up and those like comments. Okay, guys, until the next video, see you then.